The consolidation program for public utility vehicles has reopened. Meanwhile, issuing postal ID resumes. This and other stories in tonight's National News Roundup by Kate Renia. The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB has reopened the consolidation program for public utility vehicles as part of the Chipney Modernization Initiative. Application requests will be received for 45 days from October 15 to November 29 following a Senate plea. Newly consolidated drivers and operators will automatically receive a 10,000 fuel subsidy. If drivers and operators do not consolidate, they will be considered illegal operators. The National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict or ntf -LCOC, announced that 74% of its 2023 Barangay Development Program or BDB projects are complete. This included 100 new classrooms, 511 roads, 99 water systems, 91 health stations and 127 electrification projects. National Security Advisor Eduardo Año praised the BDB for improving lives in conflicted affected areas and reducing support for insurgents. A global campaign for the International Day on Prevention of Sexual Violence Against Boys or Blue Umbrella Day was held by the Center for Prevention and Treatment of Child Sexual Abuse in partnership with Family for Every Child. This event, recognized by the United Nations, highlights the issue of sexual violence against boys. Recent UNICEF data indicate that 1 in 13 boys falls victim to sexual abuse. The Philippine Postal Corporation, or PhilPost, resumed issuing the postal IDs on October 15 at post offices nationwide. This government-issued ID verifies addresses and is required for passport applications. PhilPost warned against scams on social media and stressed that application must be made in person. Kate Renya from the National TV for a new and better Philippines.